Back now with a trip into the air for a pretty cool lesson for local college students. It's all thanks to NASA and its P3 aircraft. It's been flying up and down I-95 in Virginia and even over part of Hampton Roads collecting data literally from thin air. Meteorologist Ricky Matthews takes us to new heights, new tonight. NASA's P-3 Orion is a modified research plane with cameras, sensors, and instruments to measure various elements in flight. Our mission on this flight, to overfly DC, Baltimore, and Hampton Roads, gathering data along the way. On board the aircraft are students and researchers from NASA's Airborne Science Program, observing and learning together. There's like at least five different instruments that I know of on there, like four star, there's car, and like the other instruments. In addition to that, there's the flight deck where the pilots are actively flying. You get to kind of talk to them and see what they're doing, where we're going. While the scientists conduct their experiments and the pilots fly, the students can interact and ask questions, educating them as to how airborne research is conducted. I wanted to do it because one, it's NASA, and then also the airborne science part, and I'm an aviation management major, so I, I want to see how aviation could tie into NASA. For Hampton University professor Ruben Delgado, the experience with the students is quite rewarding. Just listening to them, uh, several of them have expressed an interest on in pursuing graduate careers, uh, either masters or sciences, and, 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 uh, and the science and engineering. Careers that may just bring them back to NASA Wallops and into the skies once again. At NASA's Wallops Island Flight Facility, I'm meteorologist Ricky Matthews, 10 on your side.